Hello, welcome to Stratus Podcast, a regular not cloud podcast about cloud, uh, with uh, Vitor Domingos and now with Jan Kritz. Uh, our nice group, to be here. Our group CEO that uh, is visiting us in London. And um, maybe you, you should introduce yourself to our audience, uh, who you are, who, mm. uh, where are you going? Not after the podcast, obviously, we're not going to mm. discuss that, mm. but um, just introduce yourself. A bit. Yeah, so my name is Jan. I'm uh, from Finland. I'm the CEO. I joined the company about uh, two years ago. Really happy to be in a company that's fully focused on public cloud. Exciting times. Um, I am a bit older than our average uh, person who works <laughs> in the company, so 50. All right. Exactly. <laughs> um, good. And, um, and, and I heard that you brought some uh, interesting th stuff from Finland for the UK office as well. Uh, yes. We, we're doing some exchange today because I brought something from Portugal and you brought yeah. something from Finland. It's yes, be we, we, we did uh, try out a little bit of a different <laughs> refreshment. Exactly. Yes, yes. An Arctic gin. Uh, exactly. And yeah. I brought the, the Portuguese wine. Uh, yeah. I hope that you can... Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, I did. I did. I think uh, people enjoyed everything that yes. day. So um, last week I was uh, in uh, Finland um, um, uh, to meet you and to meet other, and mm. other people from, from the group as well. Uh, lovely discussions. The, the weather was really good. Uh, I was amazed. Um, but um, I got um, uh, the introduction to the whole North Cloud group because it was my first time there. Mm. And also about the Norcolau culture. Yes. And, and because of that, uh, not just because of me there, but because of all the, the thing that mm. uh, surrounds the Norcolau Nord uh, cu uh, culture, um, we have some new values or uh, kind of uh, the, the, the old values, but transmitted in a different way. And uh, we're going to launch that mm. this week. Uh, to the North Cloud group, group, maybe you can explain, kind of high level, what are those those values uh, for from people outside to also understand how who we who we are, what is our identity, and if they want to join North Cloud, not just in the UK mm. but also in other in other countries, how what should they expect for, in terms yeah. of culture? Sure. Yeah. So it, it's true. We refreshed the the values. Um, it was, I think about the time because we have we have 37 nationalities in the company we we work in 10 countries uh, and and of course we have cultures from those different nationalities so the company culture is is an important element it it gives a certain basis for people that what is what is expected as behavior or what is the expected behavior on a longer term uh, if we are not there yet. Um, so we, we basically define four different values. Um, one is, and, and this is probably the most, I think, important and beautiful, is that we make a difference. We, we make a difference in a way that, that we, we cherish the technology that we, we work within. We, we think that we work with the best technology that there is in the world. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's, it's not arrogance, it's... it's uh, Just a we, fact. <laughs> well, yes. It is, yeah. because it's cloud, it's going to be the future. Naturally, it's going to be... Public uh, cloud point. is great. Yes. And, and we should feel proud that we work with that technology. And, and when we make the difference, it's also that, that how do we work together with the customers? How do we, how do we deliver value to the customers? Uh, how do we behave in, in the assignments where we are? Uh, what is the outcome to the customer? It mm -hmm. should really make that, that difference that we also promise. Mm -hmm. um, so the second value is that, that we win together. When, when we win, we want the customers to win in their business. The impact of, of what we deliver should help their business to succeed. Mm -hmm. If it's not helping their business to succeed, it's probably not enough. Mm -hmm. So the, the dialogue that we want to have with the customers is, is that how can we help them to fix their challenges and if the more closer they are to the business challenges the better. Mm -hmm. um, then it's also with, with our partners. So we work with, with the three hyperscalers in the world and, and those are in alphabetical order. It's, <laughs> it's uh, Amazon, it's mm -hmm. Google and it's Microsoft. Mm -hmm. They're public clouds all, all really, really 
meeting the demand that the customers have. So we want to succeed together with them and, and we know how to do that, we believe. And then we also want to celebrate the success when we win with, with our colleagues and, mm-hmm. and the teams. So then it's about that we want to work in a smart way. So we want to we want to automate things. We we want a software driven solution for the customers. It's it's not the problem if there's a person involved, but it's a problem if it becomes manual and the manual bec- uh, creates errors and, and, and automation for us is, is the solution. Is the yeah. um, we also want to work in a smart way that, that we want to be efficient. We want to, we want to reduce the toil. Uh, Site reliability engineering of, of some companies is it's a great principle. So we want to uh, cherish that as well. Um, and then we want to grow together. Mm-hmm. We want to grow as individuals in the company, as teams, as an organization. All that helps our business to grow. And then on the other hand, this, this whole... Uh, growing together is also helping our customers to grow, our partners to grow. And uh, these are the four values. So it's about making the difference. Mm-hmm. It's about winning and growing together. So those, both of those, and then working smart. Excellent. And that's the, the value is not just for, for Finland, but also for every single country. So it's... Yes, it, yes, uh, of, of course. So, so this company was founded in Finland. We hope to be uh, less about Finland. It's more about what what do we do for the whole mm-hmm. whole world. Mm-hmm. Well, we, 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 which is good because if you look at um, how the market will uh, actually works at this moment and how we see the future, um, you mentioned automation as as, mm-hmm. I mean, as one of the values of the company. There's a lot of automation in the future, not just around the cloud, but everything related mm-hmm. to that. Yeah. Um, cloud as well, because we are not cloud, we operate there. But then they're the ones that kind of more with aligned with our partners and with our customers. Mm-hmm. It's to win uh, uh, together, um, not just on on, the, on specific or deals or projects, but actually learning from each other. There's a lot to learn from from other business where we where we can help them. And the last one would be kind of growth because we want to scale, we want to grow in the UK, we want to grow in, in other countries as well. Yes. Um, is there any 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 uh, projects to expand to uh, other countries in Europe or just focus in in the north part of the, of, the, of of Europe? Yeah, so that's that's an excellent question. When when we talk about the company name Nord Cloud, it doesn't mean Nord or North. It's just I mean it's it's how we were born, but I would say that we were born more in the cloud. Mm-hmm. So we are cloud born company focusing on cloud native solutions, using the data, uh, enabling public cloud to help the customers to transform. Um, we work in ten countries already today. And, and those are, in, in addition to the Nordic countries that you refer to, we work in UK, Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. So, so I, I think we have a, already a great footprint, and, and mm-hmm. we have a lot of customers in, in, in this whole ecosystem mm-hmm. of, of, of 10 countries. And uh, th- that's interesting, because one of the, uh, uh, the discussions that we usually have is around the UK, our UK market, which is completely different mm. from uh, the German market or from the uh, the Dutch mm. market or even from from Finland. Mm. From you, from my point of view, f- running a um, uh, the North Cloud Group, and you can have this mm. vis- visibility uh, in different countries. Mm. How do you see uh, the market moving? Which mm. I'm, I'm not I'm not asking which country do you like the most, obviously. Mm. But mm. how do you see do you see cloud moving? differently in different countries is mm. is that really the difference or is actually how the journey is adopt, adopted in in each country mm. so are we going in the same direction but but what changes is how we going to uh, navigate mm. uh, throughout that direction or do you think that some other country or some other region is doing something completely mm. different from from the other ones mm. what do you think from yeah so i i believe that there's a combination of of uh, these things. 
UK market is, is next to the North American market in the sense of adoption of new things. And, and yes, we can still say that public cloud is a new thing compared to the, uh, if I now try to commoditize a little bit like a, like a legacy IT. Mm-hmm. So, so UK market is, is ahead of, of the other markets in, in the European scenery. Um, then we might see a bit more uh, dynamics also in the Nordics. The Nordic countries are following UK very closely. And then the further south we go, I mean, that's, that's how, how things have evolved. Then on the other hand, how fast can somebody leap and say that, well, I'm, I'm going to skip this and go completely um, agile, agile with my applications, meaning I, I will only develop in public cloud. I will only take platform as a service solutions and, and, and have, a, have a better insight to the data. So we, can, we have customers who do this. So it's not any more market specific, but it's more about, and it's not even industry specific, but it's more about the culture of the company, of that customer. Mm-hmm. So, so they might be so much about finding new things and wanting to beat the market that they just, you know, take the newest, newest solutions and do this. So um, we, we really have a big combination of, of things in our markets. Excellent. Um, I think that's kind of the two main topics that I want to bring to the mm. to this podcast. I know it's a bit different because usually it's between me and Paul and yeah. we have a bunch of other topics to discuss, but I think I want to take this uh, opportunity for you because you're here mm. and um and I'm not we did some kind of short interviews in Finland. I'm mm. not sure if you're going to put them after this, but mm. let's see how the whole thing will play yeah. out. Yeah. Um one thing I'm I'm I I'd l- do like to 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 ask you because I'm not sure if um if you haven't talked about this before. Uh, Is this business related? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. Yeah. Do you have any hobby? I I do have a hobby. Um, I anything I, that you can share? <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, I do a lot of sports, but it's kind of like you know, in the morning I go and do sports because I want to feel feel that I have the, uh, the I want to be fit. And I want to, to get a little bit more energy for myself. I know some people want to do the sports in the evening. I do that in the morning. So I do that. But in addition, of course, I, I'm quite social. So I have a lot of friends. I, I have kids. So there's... there's how's, how's, do, you, do you usually run in Finland in the morning or you just do that? Well, I, I used to run, but then I hurt my back at some point. So I guess I mean, it, 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 it can be either tough to run in, in Finland during the winter, right? Because right now it's going to be a bit colder. Hmm. No? Well, it might be tough for, for you guys in Portugal. <laughs> oh, <but> yes. <laughs> we, there's a lot of people running out there in the woods and everything in Finland, oh, even good. during winter. So That's good. It depends uh, on the gear. <laughs> uh, remind me of not going to fill in in the, in the winter because I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna take the the whole cold. Um, you will run when the polar bear comes. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, right. We don't have those, by the way. No, of course not. You already yeah. kill all of them. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Never have. Uh, <laughs> but um, excellent. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming to the UK and for accepting to participate on the on the podcast. I hope that we can do this more often. Hopefully, um, and um, thank you very much. Well, thank See you. you.